hello and thanks for watching today. Um, I thought we are going to do some work on and look at massaging facial muscles. Uh, we concentrate so much on shoulders, body, um, head even, but not the face so much and not even the head so much as it should be really. But um, okay, so just to go through some moves, we've got a big muscle here, it's a big master muscle. It does a lot of work and feel it as you're chewing, talking, um, you can feel it moving side to side, up and down, you can just feel it moving, it's a big strong muscle, um, also it's a muscle that will sag, so it's one you need to be keeping toned, um, but they, it can ache, you know you get the expression face ache, and this can ache when it's sore and tight and overworked, so just a few simple things to do, some pressure point, you don't need any clean hands obviously, uh, you don't need oil, just do some, we're going to do some pressure point um, moves. So start down here gently and just push, gently push down, hold it and lift off, hold it and lift off. So as you're pushing you're slightly lifting but not dragging the skin and then dropping it down. So imagine you're giving it a lift and then dropping it back down again. Okay so down to here and then there's muscles all over your face. If you do it nice, slower the better, and you'll get more benefit from it from a relaxation point of view. And actually if you do it with your eyes closed, it's lovely as well. You'll be completely relaxed. Okay, so when we move to here, so maybe do that about three times. Just pressing there, lifting off. Trying to get a pattern going, a bit of a rhythm, and it does make it much more relaxing. Okay, so moving here. So, I mean, we want to get some blood flowing into this, so we could, and actually might be easier for, if you don't do massage, to just do that, get some, just get it moving. Either side. See, it starts to slightly redden up as well, starting to get a bit of blood flow. Okay, so you could do that for a little while, just get it moving, um, and then a little bit more pressure point. So, I mean, if you feel it, if you, You'll feel it as you move your mouth, but just again, press in, slightly lift, drop down. Press in, slightly lift, drop down. Go right to where near your ears are, drop down. And when you get right here by the ears, and you can feel it where the joint, where your joint, where the joints are, sorry. And just tiny little circles there, and then the other direction, very slowly. Not too much pressure either, you don't want to hurt yourself, you would you know, really be pleasant. And then push it in and drop off. And you can feel the tension just drain from that muscle. I mean, it's lovely, it's a lovely thing to do. So back again, so press in, press in. So you're almost rocking into the movement. It's how I do it when I'm doing people's massage, I rock into the movement so it's slow, there's a rhythm. So you get here again, you feel that joint where it joins, where the joint is. Just nice little circles. Really, if you do it, actually I'm probably even doing it too quickly, if you do it super slow. Press in, come off again. And back off again. Do that three or four times, you will, I mean, you will feel that is lovely. Most people, it's so tight around here. It's like I say, it's a big muscle here. Um, and yeah, it doesn't get any work. So it's, it's really, really lovely. Um, and do a little bit, not dragging the skin, but a little bit of, you haven't got any oil on, so you do need to be careful you don't drag the skin. And just keep the skin back. Okay, so it comes to here now here so you've got your sinuses a lot of people have sinus trouble sometimes just press in and so not with the tips of your fingers so much more to the side well, right there so just like a little bit of the side you're using the side of your finger and just pressing down 
right underneath the eye socket. Back in. Again, slower the better, but if you press down, you'll find everyone is slightly different area on everyone, but you'll find the bit, if you hold it, you can feel the sinus is just releasing. So around here, good, press and drop. Press and drop. Slightly lift it and drop it down. Just move it a bit away. Okay, right down your eyes. And you can fit, anyone who suffers with sinus problems will straight away notice that. Just nice and slow there. Okay, and then when you get to the temple, what you can do. So I wouldn't say do this and point in, it, you don't want to hurt yourself either. You just take your head and cup. I do this probably, I'm not trying to think of the best way to do it to yourself. Probably like that actually. So gently cup the area, but really lift that round, but slowly lift it round and back. Do go in a circle, do in the opposite direction again. And you press in and lift off. That's really lovely. I mean, a lot of people will carry a lot of tension here. That's really lovely. Um, so we do that. We could then go to the eyes here. This all around here gets really tight. So pinch as you move along. So pinch, push into it, pinch, push into it, and pinch around. Tap around, come up, pinch, big muscle here. Pinch, pinch. Pinch. Again, I'm doing automatically, I'm doing the rocking movements I do when I'm working. Another thing to do to stimulate some the, the muscles around here is to tap, tap all around. It's quite nice, gently, really gently, but just just tap again. It's this is a movement I do a lot when I'm doing treatments. Okay, and then so we've got this here. So what we can do here with this forehead, again, gets very tight. Obviously, you can see with people's lines and muscle sags. The fingers there, just press. Slowly slide it down and press again. And right down to the temples. I mean, to be honest, there are so many facial massage moves. These are just a few to which may help. Have you got any oil? I'm assuming your hands are nice and clean. You can just give it a nice drag down this one. You can just to try and flatten out that muscle a little bit. Come back to the temples. I'll just come back to the temples and just finish. And just also, what you might want to do as you come down is um, come to the ears. It's really lovely. Just go down the ears and just slowly pinch again, doing that and behind the ears. Press. I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm right behind the ears. I'm going right in and I'm just pressing. Just give them a bit of movement. It's lovely. Okay, so the nut, it's not ideal, but to do it yourself, ideally you'd be having a facial, having me doing it for you. But there are a few nice moves, but try and feel the muscles. And when you move your face, you can feel the muscles moving so you know where they are. And then just do what feels comfortable, but always that sort of hold little bit of pressure and drop hold it a little bit of pressure and drop if you were doing um, if you were doing massage on your face and you had oil you were using oil there'd be a lot more slidey movements now but we don't want to do that because we haven't we're not using oil today so um, you know if you're just sitting there somewhere relaxed anywhere and you just want to even if you're sitting watching TV you can just sit there and you can just do that but especially for sinus trouble, don't forget this area here. Really, really anything under, 
through there. And you can almost feel it, the relief of it. Just don't drag the skin. So you've got no oil on, so nice and gently. Okay then, thank you very much for watching then. Any questions or if you want to know any more or want any information, then um, don't hesitate to give me, uh, send me an email or um, call. Okay, thank you.